Good day. You'll notice I have a different accent, so you have to bear with it. You know, life is a curious thing. And sometimes I wonder if I'll ever get the hang of it. Um, I wonder if there are actually anything, if there's actually anything certain in this world, other than the typical death and taxes. Um, but after thinking about it, I'd like to suggest two things of which I am certain. One, every per person was born with a, person, a purpose and a passion. Let me say that again. Every person was born with a purpose and a passion. And two, every person was born for human connection. I believe that the world changers, the visionaries, the influencers, they are people that understand this. The purpose of life is to live a life of purpose. About 10 years ago, my husband asked me a question. He said, if you could do anything, what would you do? Now, that seems like a simple question, but it's actually really complex. It's the question that helps us to understand our purpose and our passion in life. And when you combine your purpose and your passion, the sky is the limit. Because people with great passion can make the impossible possible. I only needed a few seconds to answer that question. I told him I would love to direct Broadway musicals. And after a short conversation and a few days, I felt compelled to write down a specific plan for this impossible dream, a theater performing arts group for teenagers. Now, I know some of you are wondering, is she crazy? And I'm not sure if the craziness comes in with creating a theater performing arts group or the fact that I wanted to work with teenagers. But I remember being a teenager. I remember that awkward stage in life where I was convinced that no one would ever understand me or my dreams. It's a stage in life where your desire for human connection is at its highest and your understanding and purpose in life is at its lowest. And that description, I believe, is still true of teenagers today. Hence, my dream became a reality. And the description of what I believed formed a name, a place for people to create connections. And it was called Nexus. Nexus actually means connecting point. And from the very beginning, we were very clear on our vision. Creating connections, building community, nurturing creativity, and producing excellence. And I want to use those four things today to encourage you in how to build purpose-driven connections. The first idea, creating connections, has to be first. People need to know that they belong. Uh, Bryn Brown once said, connection is the energy that's created between people when they feel seen, valued, and heard. And this is so true. So from the very beginning, Nexus created a mantra for its family. Once an Exonian, and they would yell out, always an Exonian. We had a young lady that showed up, um, came back to Nexus after graduating. And she came back to help with our latest production of The Phantom of the Opera. And I remember the joy on her face when she walked into the room. I yelled out, what's an Exonian? And everybody yelled out, always an Exonian, followed by a dog pile of hugs, because that's what happens at Nexus. She hadn't forgotten the power of belonging. You know, human connection so often gives us value in life. To feel connected is to feel that you belong. The second idea, building community, merge beautifully with creating connections. You know, we need to listen to this statement as Australians and around the world. It takes a village to raise a child. We live in a world today where we are so isolated. We drive into our garage, we shut the door, and we shut out the world. 
And when we do that, we lose the value of the people around us. And unfortunately, this reality creates a bad reality because people need to build community. They need us to model to them that as they give back, they actually become better versions of themselves. I want to read you a small excerpt from a letter that we received at Nexus from a parent about her son and about building community. My son joined a family, a supportive and nurturing group of encouraging and accepting individuals whose goals in life are to lift you up, lead you further, and bring out the best in you. Over the following five years, my son has said, seen that he can go far. He can share his ideas, give to others, and have a whole lot of fun along the way. Here's a place where the individual is given the space to shine and given the opportunity to develop in a happy and nurturing environment. Everyone is made to feel secure and confident in who they are. The journey that preparing and rehearsing gives, gives time for performers to stretch their imagination, to find ways to express themselves they never dreamed possible, and to start to become the fantastic individuals that they are. I hope as you listen to that, that you feel inspired to find something in which you are passionate about. And through that, create a place where you can create connections for other people. The third concept, nurturing creativity, is an amazing way for people to find their passions. Although Nexus started out as a place for people who loved the arts, the performing arts in particular, it didn't stay that way. We have an entirely eclectic group of people from all walks of life. We have mainstream, marginalized, disabled, young, old, talented, not so talented, <laughs> but that's okay, because we all belong. We have those that can make a monotone, joyful noise. We also have those that will blow you away with their voices. We have artists that paint like Monet. I am not one of them. We have people who love to express themselves through preparing food and loving and giving to others. You know, teenagers, the key to your heart is food. We know. And you're never too old. We have a Nexus grand who's an invaluable part of our community. And she offers love and wisdom to kids around them that don't have grandparents in the area or just don't have grandparents in their relationships with them. And we have people who express themselves through Disney songs and show tunes. We have lots of those. And you know Nexus is around when you hear in the background a show tune, millions of them, being sung in multiple parts of harmony. Uh, mind you, if you ever come visit Nexus, do not ever say the words, we're all in this together. Or someone will sing the entire High School Musical performance to you, and it will drive you nuts. And whilst we have the performers, we have the safety people. The people who build sets. God, thank you for them. Note, hammers are not for everyone. We are all connected to each other, in a circle, in a hoop. Well, that's, you're the wrong audience, sorry. <laughs> we are all connected to each other. And we need to create safe places that desire to bring forward the creativity each individual can bring. And the result will be this. People will discover their passions because they're free to dream. And I've read this somewhere. Passion is the genesis of genius. Isn't that beautiful? And that's where the fourth concept comes in. Producing excellence. When everyone is invested, everyone gives their best. And when you measure success through connections and community and not productivity and output, the result often looks like this. People bring their best, and excellence is achieved. 
because your measure of success is placed in the most important place, people. My favorite moment at Nexus is at the end of the production. We all gather together and have this big reflection night. And uh, we pass around a bowl of Skittles. Everyone loves Skittles, don't they? And each person takes out a Skittle and removes the Skittle and says how the color of that Skittle represents something they loved about their journey in Nexus. So one year we're going around, takes forever. It's, it's an emotional time, it's awesome. But this one really quiet, shy boy holds up his Skittle and he says, I sucked the color off my Skittle so it would be white. White is the color of purity. And to me, Nexus is pure. I love it here. I've often thought about that statement. Purity, what a strange word to use in today's age. But you know what I thought about it? And what I think he meant was this. It is so different here. This is a unique place where people don't look at the best song, the best performance, the best actor. Instead, it looks like the best an individual can bring. That's what mattered. Him. He is the one that mattered. People innately desire to belong. That's what they want in life. And when they feel the value of connection and belonging, they will become who they truly are. And when we create environments like that, they will breed perpetual results. They will ask you to do the same thing for someone else. We need to create places where people feel free to ask themselves the question my husband asked me 10 years ago. If you could do anything, what would you do? You see, if everyone was born with a purpose and a passion and for community, are we creating places for people to find and develop that purpose? Are we telling people that discovering their passion will help to define them? Are we modeling connections that allow the next generation to discover and cultivate who they are and who they will become? Marianne Williamson said one of my favorite quotes ever. Our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. She understood the idea that we have it within us to be great. We need to move beyond the mundane and seek out our purpose and our passion, the one that makes us powerful beyond measure. Nexus is the fulfillment of that joy for me. I love it. It breathes life into me. I am so passionate, I think you can tell, about it. It brings me joy. A simple dream turned from my intrinsic satisfaction to something that brings connection and community to others. A safe place for people to discover who they are. And if you're someone that's asking today or thinking, how do I discover my purpose? I want to give this idea to you from T.D. Jakes. If you can't figure out your purpose, figure out your passion. For your passion will lead you right into your purpose. Dream. Find a safe place where you can begin to explore the things you love. Be fearless and courageous in the pursuit of the things that set your soul on fire and help you to dream big 
and create connections with others. Now that's an idea worth spreading. Thank you.